Now, on these top two number lines, I'm going to count in steps of three. I'm going to write out the three times table. And on this number line, at the bottom, I'm going to add the numbers in the top two lines. And you'll see why I'm doing that in a moment. So starting on three, we have three at the top and three in the middle. So that gives us a total of six. Now another three on each of our top two lines. And we have a total of 12 blocks because six plus six is 12. Another three and we have 18 blocks. Another three. 24, and another 3, 30. Now what do you notice about our number line at the bottom? We have the numbers 6, 12, 18, 24, and 30. So we have the 6 times table. So if you have the 3 times table twice, you have the six times table because three plus three is six. So carrying on, we have 36, another three on each line, and we have 42, 48, 54, and 60. So on the bottom line, we have our six times table, and we can say that we got our six times table by doubling our three times table. Now here, on the top line, we have our six times table. Now I've circled half of the blocks. So the same number of blocks are circled as not circled. Now if we get rid of these blocks that we've circled, we can see that we have our three times table. So here we can say that we got our three times table by halving our six times table. Now we have our three times table and our six times table written out. If we have the three times table, we can double to get the six times table. And remember, doubling is the same as multiplying by two. So if you have a number, multiply it by three and then multiply it by two, you've multiplied it by six, because three times two is six. And if we have our six times table, we can halve to get our three times table. And remember, halving is the same as dividing by two. So half of six is three, because six divided by two is three. And notice that numbers in the six times table are also always in the three times table. So we can say that multiples of six are always also multiples of three. So two times three gives the same answer as one times six. Four times three is 12, and so is two times six. 6 times 3 is 18, and so is 3 times 6. 8 times 3 is the same as 4 times 6. And 10 times 3 is the same as 5 times 6. So here are all of our multiples of 3 up to 100. And here are all our multiples of 6 up to 100. 
Now you can see that all of the odd multiples of 3, the multiples of 3 with a unit's digit of 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9, have disappeared. But all the even multiples of 3 are also always multiples of 6.